People here are braving the abrupt plunge in mercury levels to pay their respects and share their condolences at memorial set up amid the Halloween tragedy this past weekend. I have my colleague Chim Min Jong standing by live at Seoul Plaza. Min Jong. Hi, Sunny. I'm here at Seoul Plaza, uh, where one of the memorial altars has been set up since Monday. It's a very chilly day today, but despite that, many people are here to mourn in silence. So far, as of Thursday evening, a total of more than 96,000 people have paid their respects to the victims at memorial sites set up in the capital. We saw more than 19,000 people offer their condolences in Seoul yesterday alone. Just a little earlier this morning at around 9 a.m., President Yoon Song yeol visited this altar once again. President Yoon has been visiting memorial altars every morning since Monday. President of Germany Frank Walter Steinmeier, who is on a short visit to Korea, also came here to Seoul Plaza this morning to offer his condolences. Thailand's Minister of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation and Sri Lanka's Minister of Labor and Foreign Employment were also here to pay their respects. Our thoughts and our feelings in Thailand are deep sorrow. I can say that uh, on behalf of the Thai government, which I am part of, and on behalf of the Thai people, we, are, we hope that Korea, particularly Korean youth, would rise up, would stand up, and walk ahead and we hope that these kinds of incidents would not happen again not only in Korea but in any part of the world. It is tragic that this incident happened but it is something we cannot blame anyone for. Sri Lanka being a friend of South Korea we express our deepest condolences to those who have lost their loved ones. Other public figures, including Seoul Mayor Oh Se-hoon and a number of ambassadors to South Korea, visited the altar here at Seoul Plaza to pay tributes as well. I also talked to some of the citizens who came to grieve amid shock and disbelief. I hope the deceased can have a better, happier existence at peace now. I myself often go to Itaewon, so I feel closely linked to the tragedy. I came here on my way to work. Right, this tragedy, Minjong, it's bringing the country together as it seeks to understand the senseless loss. And before you go, Minjong, do we have any updates with regard to the actual accident? Right, Sunny, as of 11 a.m. today, the number of deaths remains at 156. As we already know, 130 of them are Koreans and 26 are foreign nationals. Among the injured, 33 people are still being uh, treated at local hospitals, and the rest have returned home after receiving treatment. Officials say funerals have been held for all but one Korean national, and funerals have also been held for seven foreign nationals, with some already returned to their home countries. Several memorial altars have been set up in 25 districts of Seoul, where people can continue to pay tribute until this Saturday, which is the last day of the week-long national mourning period. The altar here at Seoul Plaza is open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., but people can come here and pay their respects outside these hours. That's all I have for now. Back to you, Sunny. All right, Min Jung, thank you for the latest. That was our Chen Min Jung reporting live from Seoul Plaza at this hour.